It's time once again for Window Shopping, the sometimes weekly, but never week, fun, fun game show of picking cars that you'll never own. Here's your host, Tony Caroga. Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors... I just said that, Tony. I know, but I, I, I have to do that. <laughs> He's going to cut you out. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. This week, we are joined by Road and Track editor, John Furley Huffman. Senior uh, editor. Senior editor, excuse me. Um, staff Hi. editor, Austin Irwin, who's back after many, many months. Um, senior editor, Joey Caparella, and deputy testing director, Mr. Casey Colwell. This week's challenge is to find cars that we didn't like at first. We, these are cars that we changed our minds about. So you didn't like it at first, but now you kind of like it. Um, so Pearly, you want to kick it off? I do. You know, this is a, I'm, going, I'm using this car as a stand in for all hybrids because if there's one thing I really hated was early hybrids, like the early, the early Prius and a lot and the early Insight and a lot of those cars, which I just thought were just awful to drive. And now I think for a lot of people, hybrids make a lot of sense. So I'm going to share my screen if I remember how to do this. So what changed for you? They've gotten a lot better. They, they work okay. great. They work great. I mean, they, I, uh, I think that the, uh, I, I, this car is a very pleasant car to drive for everyday thing. It makes, gets great mileage. It's 40 Did miles. Not find a listing like we're supposed to. It's a listing. It's, you go, you go to a Toyota dealer, you give them $32,670. They give you a Venza. This is a lesson. Not that as shown 42,000. Okay. It's to $42,550. You go there, you give them $42,550. They give you a Venza. And, uh, 100% that does not include destination. Oh, so what? That's what the little one is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I had this car for a week, a couple, a couple months ago, and I, I thought I was going to hate it, and I didn't. I liked it. It was a very pleasant, everyday use car, and uh, it's, it. I thought it was good looking. I thought it was very stylish on the inside. I enjoyed it, and I don't hate hybrids anymore, which is something that I find surprising because I really thought I would hate hybrids for my entire life. Oh, I, there's the phone. Oh, I lay off. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't not work. I have to tell you this. I have a job. I know, but right now your job is to do this show. Oh, really? How much does car and driver pay me, Tony? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, nothing since you don't turn in flip books. Yeah. I go on a rant about yeah. the Venza. Round number. Yeah. Hey, the Venza is fine on its own, but it makes no sense compared to the RAV4 hybrid. Because it's smaller, it's slower, it's heavier, it gets worse fuel economy, has less space inside, and it costs like six thousand dollars more. Well, see, this is, comes from my maturity and my sense of refinement. Is is that you know you are but a young pup, and I am an old guy who wants an old guy car, and I think this is the old guy. This is the Oldsmobile for today. This is, this is something that is you know that I think is fits my lifestyle of going to various senior events and AARP meetings. <laughs> The yes. only thing that would have capped off Joey's rant a little better would have been if he ended it with boom, roasted. <laughs> does this have the same powertrain as the Sienna? I think it does. does it? It's the same as the RAV4 hybrid. Super RAV4. Super not, the plug yeah, hybrid, not the RAV4 plug in hybrid. Not the RAV4 really, plug in hybrid is legit fun. That thing yeah, the legit, the, the plug in hybrid RAV4 is very good too. I mean, I, 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 just, I was just trying to say that I think hybrids make sense now, and I didn't think they used to make sense before. And this is the ultimate expression of it to you. To me, this is the, the one I would, uh, I think it's a good looking, stylish, nice everyday car. And uh, I wouldn't mind using one up. That's how I, that's why. I <laughs> using one up? And yeah, I mean, you know, die? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's, well, you know, there's certain cars you buy to cherish. Like you go look at them in the garage, like, you know, you go, oh my God, look at this. Can you believe I own this car? And there are other cars you buy and you go like, well, I'll drive this thing till the wheels fall off. This right. is a buy car. This kind of, kind of what you're doing to your office, just using it up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 a it's a genuinely nice car. It's a genuinely good car to use every day. And and I used to hate these things. I thought the first generation of Benson was just made no sense whatsoever. And I like the first gen one. The first gen was better because it was actually bigger than a Rav Four. This is smaller than a Rav Four. I don't know if it's smaller on the inside. The Rav Four. It is. We measured it. Okay, in that case, I'll go. I'll, I'll, look, I'll tell you what. You know, I decided that you guys are right, and I'm now switching. To the uh, <laughs> to whatever else you can find on the Toyota website. <laughs> Marai, Marai, Marai. 
Right, and I'm pissing, I'm, I'm I'm switching to the RAV4 hybrid. Thank I don't you. know if you guys know this, but this is a fine car. It's the RAV4 <laughs> hybrid. It was not my choice. Way better than that. Well, you're the Joey's vote now. Yeah, Thank so, God. Now I got Joey's vote. Because yeah. it's the Rav Four Hybrid that I really like. I, I don't know what hate happened to me, but I, you know, Joey's right. He's convinced me. It's this one, not that one. Really, I really Those like are the, the words I like to hear. Okay. I like the Venza's tail lights better than the Rav Four's tail. I like. I think the Venza's a much better looking vehicle. And for you know, for me who you know now has two kids in college, <laughs> I don't need to have absolute necessarily all the world. I think it works fine. But look how much cheaper this one is. Oh, so why would, if you if you don't need all the room with all the kids, why would you just get like a I don't know a Prius? Yeah. Because there's, look, I have limits. I don't want to be seen in a Prius. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. I like the Prius. I don't know. The, the, the an, anonymity of a Prius in L.A. is uh, pretty good. I mean. You, 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 well, I don't live in L.A. I live in Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I live in an upscale community, unlike some people who live in Los Angeles. So. Uh, I don't know. I've heard some pretty, 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 pretty bad horror stories about uh, living in, in upscale uh, uh, groups of homes with, with associations. HOA. Yes, I do, have a, I do have a few issues with my HOA, and every once in a while we have some rainstorms and the entire neighborhoods get washed away. But other than that. Okay, really. Thank you. For Thank not you. finding a car and just going. I, on, I, on I the found a car. Ahead. I found two. I found. Wait. I found two cars. Yeah. Why don't you spec it live? Oh, no, please. No, we don't want to see that. <laughs> All right, Joey. Since you hated the Venza, let's see what you what yeah, what car changed. Much that. better. And oh, the Mustang. Okay, so this generation of the TL, I feel like when it came out, it was so. This was the one that came before it, which looked really good. Yeah. And this one, I think in comparison, I always thought it was very ugly and big and kind of just ungainly. But they kind of like gradually improved it as it went along. And so at first it was kind of disappointing because it didn't offer a stick shift anymore. But then they added a stick shift back and you could actually get the manual with the SH all wheel drive system and the more powerful V6. So I found one that's a manual um it's got seventy five thousand miles it's 17 grand and i was looking at the specs we tested one instead of 2010 this thing was really quick wow at the time yeah and i actually drove one of these at when i worked at automobile and i thought it was really fun because it was a naturally aspirated v6 it was a stick it was kind of big and heavy but the that all-wheel drive system is good and I don't know. It's kind of like uh, I've kind of gained an appreciation for it over time. This is a totally forgotten car, Joey. I totally yeah. forgot about this car. Because yeah. like they must not have made very many of them with a stick at all. Well, and I don't. I also. I don't think this is quite the same all-wheel drive system as the uh, like the the, the RLs. SH all wheel drive of this right. era. I mean, they still called it SH all wheel drive. I think. Drive. Yeah, I think they still call it. But I think that's that was like I remember that being like part of the big confusion because it's like. Maybe I could be totally wrong. I think this is isn't this the only time they matched the three seven with a six speed transmission? I think so. Yeah. Did you have Pilot Sport twos? Did I see the Pilot Sport two word in there? No, P P Pilot Pilot. No, it doesn't have it. Oh, that's that was on. I see. I see. Oh, and it's seventy two pounds lighter than on mine. That's a cool. Yeah, like it is kind of ugly still, but I don't know. I I think it's kind of cool, and the fact that it's like a big. Naturally aspirated V6 sedan with the stick is just a cool idea. Yeah, it, it's a, well, it's, it's the most anonymous looking car, except for that stupid except looking nose. Yeah, it's the yeah, the beak is kind of weird. It's just, just, it's just such a boring car to look at. I mean, not like the Venza, which is just interesting for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help that this one's like silver and pretty yeah. boring stack. But yeah. I, I like it. What model cool. year is it? Oh, it's a thirteen. Twenty thirteen. And I mean, really, for seventeen grand, that's a pretty good deal. I think it's a, it's 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 a good deal if you don't mind the fact that you will you know fade into anonymity and and die alone. I don't know what happened to the badge on the back. Here. I know it looks like the Star Trek. Uh, <laughs> like, not quite right. Touch. Yeah, it must be that like square surrounding thing. That one. I I might have been wrong about that about that SHL wheel drive thing, but that's what kind of tires are those? Yeah, I don't know. It's some weird brand. It's Volcano, I think. I have no idea. Toyo, 
So yeah, maybe we can get some retired on that, but maybe we can get some pilot sport cup too. <laughs> Did we I, I think this was saying that one of them, one of the TLs we tested previously had the right had some had, had PS2s on it. Yeah. But anyway, I just think it's kind of cool and like you know to have a manual on a car like this, it's unique. No, I think it's a fine cool. car. So it's just fine car. You know, it's it's a it's an MDX without all that pesky utility. It's got to be more fun to drive than that. Oh yeah, way more fun. It also had nav too, right? <clears throat> wait, 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 Is the dealership this is at called Herb Garden? No, Herb Gordon. <laughs> oh, there's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make I like sure. Herb, I like Herb Garden. Does. Herb Gordon Subarus. Well, I just saw it on the, I saw it on the license plate in one of the photos. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> in Silver Spring, Maryland. Does yeah, anybody I grab. Does anybody name their kids Herb anymore? Herbert? No, Herbert? probably not. It's probably pretty far down on the list of names. Yeah. I like this described as a close ratio. Hey, let's see the Carfax while we're here. Yeah, I looked at it earlier. It's two owners. Oh, we're at it. Pretty good. Are there any issue? Are there any timing belt replacements on here? Because it probably needs a timing belt right around now. Mm. I don't see any, but yeah. Add what twelve hundred to that. You sure the V sixes of that area had belts? Yeah, I think they're all belt driven from then. Sure. Yeah, I think all chains. The Honda ones. I think the Honda ones are all belt, aren't they? No, I I think they they went to here. I'm looking at it right now. It's the three point seven liter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that engine was pretty. It had um, a lot of power. 305 horsepower. It's pretty good. That's a quick. Yeah, so it's a J series, blah, 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 60. J series, J series VTEC. Uh, variable timing control. Let me just do a fine for belt. Uh, what are you searching? This is riveting. <laughs> uh, it, it is a belt drive. What was our 60? Okay. To, what was our zero to 60 on that? 5.2. How, how, how many teeth are on those belts, too? Do you have a teeth count on the on the, uh, on the on the those, those belts? Uh, is that an aramid fiber belt or is that like a steel impregnated belt? What is it we're talking here? Are we uh, how deep do we want to go into this? All right, I believe uh, it's a douche cut belt, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that zero to 60 time isn't far off the twin turbo G80. All right, Austin. Also, it's the Type S, the new TLX Type S, isn't that much quicker anyway? Yeah, it's only four eight or four seven. Gonna, yeah, four no. seven. Uh, okay. I think that's four nine. Austin, share screen. Here comes share screen. So the car that I picked was is like totally based off my own personal car prejudice of hatred. Can you please share screen there? Oh, oh, yeah. You're me honest. I know this. This probably hits home, right? I I, I don't disagree with this because I was not a big fan of any Miatas when they were pretty new either, and I own one now and love it. I just felt like they were too happy looking. Like when I before I was ever like before I'd ever rode in one or had driven one. Let's see your listing. They just looked so jokey. And well, first is an example of a car that like, this is like the typical, what people do to a Miata. <laughs> <laughs> the one had like, uh, this, this one has, and this is Facebook. So this, we can ID this person. There's, they have like this crazy, you know, the door panels are like dinosaurs or something. I don't know what's inside there. You can see there's like, simple panels like just stuff underneath the steering wheel it's just completely missing it's got a maggie simpson um accelerator pedal doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. i think it's the floor mat is it the floor mat or the accelerator pedal i think it's the floor this mat. isn't something we need to determine that's <laughs> No, we can, let's, let's go back to talking about timing belts. Let's well her, her big spiky hair makes the heel toe down hey look both the headlights are up in that one but it's just so yeah and this one's like not even fully up it's just such a like. So is this the oh, one you're buying? Yeah, 
no it's not this is like this is when i see like miatas and people are like oh miata's always the answer this is like the miata that i picture in my head because it's like typical right overdone I, and poorly done here's yeah here's what i saw on reddit and this is what my friends like and this is like you know okay austin let's see the one you're buying which okay. one are you gonna buy i'm gonna do an ls swap can i do an ls swap do you know you can put you can v8 swap these Where's this the one an, you're buying? This is another one with the like bad ones. Bad. Look at bad ones all day long. He's this never one, watched. This one has like Home Depot. You have not liked and subscribed, Austin. Clearly. <laughs> I just want. <laughs> I I wanted the majority of my pick to be just me bitching. You know, you know Austin, this would make a great flipbook. Crappy Miatas. Light it, Pearly. The site can't handle that many slides, Pearly. <laughs> This is one that I that I found that isn't too insanely priced, especially right now. It has these bad wheels. Oh, these it's, wheels are cheap. It's riding pretty, a little high as well, but a little bit higher. Here. Wait, is it actually an automatic? Seventy thousand. Is it automatic? I didn't even. It says check. automatic, dude. That's why. But sometimes the listing's wrong. Just check what. No, it's, it's a manual. manual. It's a manual. It's a manual. Okay, we're good. Absolutely. And it's pretty correct. clean. Like yeah. the, the carpet looks really nice. The door panel, the door cards all look really clean. They added those chrome bezels to the to the uh, HF. Yeah. It really classes yeah. it up. Yeah, well, they do. I mean, come on, it makes it. It's the deluxe model, and it's got the high. I think it has crank windows. Does that crank windows? That makes it. You know, it's the, be the best thing about windows. about Miatas. Yeah, it's got crank windows. Yeah, it's got crank windows. Uh, yeah. The best thing about Miatas is that you just put the top up. It's just. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. It's but it's just movement. like. You know, and it's closed. Tony, does yours have a hard top or do you still have this? No, I, I don't have a hard top. The hard top helps rigidity substantially. Yeah. That's why you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have it because my car didn't come with one. Yeah. But I mean, we like the first Miata I ever rode in was uh, a co worker's at Car and Driver, but he had like coilovers and everything on it. But it was a freaking blast to just Ooh, ride. Kirk's? No, uh, Nick Wallace. Oh, that was Kirk's car, wasn't it? And I don't think so. No, and it wasn't a. I don't think it was an NA Miata. I think he had an NB. He okay. had a. He had a few of them, yeah. And then Luke got that uh, turbo. Yeah, I'm a mutual you. friend of Tony and mine. Austin, uh, Austin. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Just sent. Oh. Just sent. Sent me an Instagram post with a. It was a. It was an NA Miata but lined with bad Ikea for bad Ikea carpet. And uh, she sent it to me and I said, I mean, he said, ask Tony if he can identify this car. And she's like, oh, he already did without me asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I own one. Is it my turn? Did we all go? No, 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 no. Casey, you're up. Casey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Casey's up. So, um, so I, uh, I hated these cars. I've actually, I've actually presented one of these before, so it's I gotta find where to share. But is it an Elante? Um, uh huh. Is it an Elante? No, it's not. It's not an Elante. But I have, I have, I have a newish appreciation for Elantes. But no, I am. Um, I was actually gonna do just a uh, a three series, just a, a an E36 three series, because when I was, I don't know, 13, 14, I hated these cars. I don't know why, because it was probably because the car magazines loved them so much, which is why I hated them. Um, but uh, you, I'm well within budget. It's true. Budget, I'm, what was the budget? 75? Yeah, Something I'm well like within budget. And that was part of the reason why. Because I was like, you know what? I'm going to, because this thing is uh, it's a 200, 200 car, 40,000 miles. Oh, yeah. Um, and the four-door, which is really cool looking. Yeah, I like I like this. So, and that was the car that when I drove a friend's uh, sedan, his uh, was actually it was this color combo, the Estoril over gray. I like these uh, wheels better. You like these wheels? I like the other one. The other wheels are lighter. I don't care. I like these wheels. But I think yeah. they look I agree, John. I do. I do like these wheels. They're, they're kind of they're they're kind of knocked off the um, the M five Cuisinart ones that weren't actually wheels; they were just covers. But yeah. any hoozle. Um, is that your pick? Yeah. Oh, it's, you know, you know it's, it's, it's interesting because you're bringing up the three series. I was gonna do a, I was gonna do a regular three series, but then I was like, I got seventy five grand and the nicest uh, E thirty six 
325 IS I could find was an automatic. And then I was just like, Ugh, I don't even want to deal with it. Anymore. You, you so. know, the three series brings up an interesting thing is we could have, if we had done this as a like cars I liked when they were new and now hate, it would have been the E30. Uh, also, what yeah. do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. Serious business. I feel like the proportions of this have aged really well. Like, it's just so. Oh, yeah. Low oh, Powell. Yeah. Like, look, like, I mean, look at it from, I mean, okay. from here, the top of the hood is like, yeah. yeah and the wheels, the wheels fit the body perfectly. Those 17 inch wheels look. Perfect. Yeah. And the overhangs are so short. It's really yeah. nice. The E36 and the E46 are just kind of like BMW at its peak. Yeah. Wait, Pearly, what were you saying about E30s? What I was saying is, is that if you asked me about cars I liked when they were new and now dislike, it would be the oh, E30. Really? Why do you yeah. dislike the E30? Because I have so many, you have all these fanboys saying, it's the greatest car ever, the E30. I can't believe it. Look at this, an E30. And I'm just like sick of hearing about how great the E30 that, is. That's, that's exactly, that's how I was. That's how I was in the 90s with these. I yeah. was just like, I don't even want to hear it. I mean, I know, uh, I, I know, I know. Tool set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep fawning over this one. But yeah. I was gonna say, Tony, I know you have an E30 and you have one of the nicest E30 convertibles around, and your car is really nice and everything else like that. But I'm really just sick of all these fanboys riding around with these lowered E30s, like stanced out. And with, VinTag on the rear, on the rear trunk, in the trunk. Yeah, just, another VinTag here. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm done with it. Okay. Uh, but this is also that beautiful. It's that beautiful gray interior. Uh, that oh, I, I don't know if that's beautiful. Oh, I like. The, oh, I, like I love these. I like the. Okay, need some like. Some oh, oh you're saying you're off. saying. Oh, so uh, what's the uh, the color is the beauty thing for me? You're saying you don't like this the 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 actual interior. Well, I think the the top of the IP is not black, is it? It's like a lighter. Yeah, see, I feel like it needs some wood or something. To I, I, always, I always like the cup holders in these, which was just like, like the most grudging cup holder possible, where BMW just said, I guess we got to give the Americans a cup holder. That has to be, this has, those, the elastic in that has to have been, had to have been replaced. That, this is a pretty nice car. This is a really oh, nice car. Sure. I know. That's why, that's why when I came across it, I was like, yeah, because this is the one I would really and like. I always like the air, how it's just like that one big air vent. I think that was no, that's another Vintag. For you. See this this yeah. interior didn't match the interiors of the other BMWs of the era though. The five and the seven had such nicer interiors, I thought. You know, the thing is, is though, if you're gonna get if you get an E36 M3, wouldn't you be better off now that you have, with a 25 year rule you can get a um a Euro spec one with a 300 horsepower engine? Yes. Well, yeah, of course. But like then I couldn't drive it in California. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jay. No, really... this one's nice, Casey. The, the... yeah, no, no. It's, this is one. This is one where I was like, I was like, yeah, this, this, this the, the the low mileage. Um, Show the, the interior again. The glove box isn't isn't really saggy, and the the center panel isn't pulling away from the rest of the IP. Yeah, this this has been kept in the garage. Yeah, that's. Right. I still feel like it should be like forty seven thousand dollars. This is a lot of money for a car that's really not that quick. Your your Acura is much quicker than this. Yeah, absolutely. Although I'll bet you this thing would do better on a racetrack. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This car, this car would be very nice to drive every day, though. I mean, if you're not, if you don't, if you're not going completely on performance numbers, this thing has yeah. a certain oh. presence. Wait, wait. We, we need record. to set. This should be. This should be a. Uh, you know, you can edit this out, but we should do that at Lightning Lap next year. Is take two old cars and be like, hmm, is it which quicker? one's faster? Yeah, no, and this is also an, another reason to like this particular M3 is it's still got the original radio. Oh, what is that? Is that like a, a Spelunker or a, or a, a Pocanca or whatever it is? Or a the word you're looking for is Plowpunk. <laughs> so there's no special name for it that you have for you the radio fetishists out there? That you don't this have? one might be an Alpine. I uh, know. Kenmore? Kenmore? All right. You guys ready to see the winner? I thought you already did. We saw the Venza. I used to hate the Buick Riata convertible. Oh, God. <laughs> and now I am quite, I wouldn't mind owning one. I think they're unusual. Yeah, you would. They're rare. They're you interesting. Mind? What's that? Tony. <laughs> What's wrong? I could not see you in this thing like even you like, like this you have you have some there's something weird going on where you're like ooh Park Avenue I like, you know, <laughs> like like that really just like you know that opens up your choke you know right? you, you know, here, 
I, I'm by far the oldest person on this planet, this thing, except Tony in Seoul is older than me, and this proves it. The Buicks of this era were um, amazing, high quality American cars. I mean, the 3800 is a high quality piece. These oh. were hand built. They were hand built. They're, they're, you know, when you get up close to Riata, hand built you know, where? Yeah, they're beautifully finished cars. They they're were really hand built at the craft center in, um, in Lansing. In Lansing. Lansing, sorry, where they built the 53 Corvette, I might add. Right. Yeah. That well built? <laughs> And, you know, the same thing, people, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and the good, the good thing is, is those gauges aren't dated at all. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, but you know, it's a period piece. You would feel like you were in 1990 if you drove this. And the night, the eight, you would no, you would feel like you were in 1984. <laughs> no way, man. This is so yeah. nice. With this, was this when they had like the badge that said Riata by Buick? Uh, let's see. I think. Or was so. that Riviera, maybe? No, it's, 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 Riata, it's Riata by Buick. Yeah. And did the, did the craft center eventually get moved over to doing like Volt production? Uh, maybe. I can't remember what they were doing. And I, I looked for this car too late to do any research on the craft center. I think they built SSRs there too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a, maybe what a they did probably did ELRs there. So this um, tail light is all one piece. And I've watched a video on YouTube on how to replace the lamps. It is not easy. <laughs> Of course, you. That's just an insurance of course you've watched that video. The Yada tail lamp assembly has the longest single tail light lens ever used on a production automobile. There are a total of 14 bulbs within the assembly. When one of those bulbs needs replacing, the assembly has to be separated from the car. To do this, open the trunk and remove the four rear carpet retainers. Slide the carpet out of the way and remove the 10 tail light fasteners. Uh, of course. So good. How how deep into Buick YouTubing? I mean, is that like day four or? I mean, you know, we we all did a lot of weird stuff during COVID. Okay. I mean, are you like, yeah? I mean, are you like coming out of like like you know? It's like you like you go to try and stand up, and you're like, oh, I got Buick legs because I've been sitting there watching YouTube for too long. You, and you, you call them you, Buick legs. Yeah, you know, Tony. I think I'd rather have the coupe than the convertible. So I like the convertible because I, you know, we live here in Southern California and I, I but you're right. And the coupe, so if you got the coupe too, you can get an 88 or 89, which have the CRT. Yeah. Which and, the touchscreen. It's structurally a little bit better. Cathode ray tube? Yes. Yeah. It's got a CRT touchscreen. Yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. Really? Yeah. Did you find the cover with the avocado? I just think. Oh I, yeah. I forgot about yeah. that, Joey. I, I just think, I just think that the, uh, I just think that this. That top, everyone thinks is a California raisin. Yeah. I just think that this top already looks like it's uh, starting to sag, and it never. Yeah, the rear window is in some trouble. Yeah, the, the top already, the top looks there. aftermarket. Yeah, it's already. You know, the proportions aren't quite as. You know, the the coupe that, with that Michelin's. <laughs> that top, that top might be off. Uh, that may be the same part number that's on like an '86 Sunbird convertible. Oh come on, no way! Yeah, it might be maybe the '85. But, but just look at the. I'm just talking about just like the the you know. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's the shape. Yeah, Tony, you want to let me share? I've got but, the cover with you. Yeah. But Tony, said, Tony, 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 how is this? I'm I mean, showing Buicks. How is this? How is this so much different than a uh, than like a than like a TC? Like, what what makes you want this car? Because oh, the thirty eight hundred, the build quality, the rareness, <laughs> like it's just a cool. I, I don't know. It's just a cool car. It's a cool piece of Americana and a cool piece of Buick history. Isn't that the same gauge cluster that's in the S10 Blazer? No, this is the same gauge cluster I think that was in the Riviera. Yeah, the, the, the seat's got some weird wear to it. It's got this, obviously they put some carpet on the top of the dash. Oh, I'm way under budget, okay? I'm oh, yeah, this is, yeah. This is, this is a budget is not a, I mean, what? You gonna keep, you get to keep what's left over? Is that, is that the game? <laughs> no. you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna take that what's left over and actually game. buy something that you want? I, I like this car. I, you know, the thing is, I think he actually does want this. Tony, would you rather? No, Tony wants a Buick. I'm not sure. I mean, but he also is like he would. There she is. <laughs> Tony, would you rather have? Would you rather have this or a Riviera with a supercharged 3800? Get the Riv. Which Rivi? Oh, the later Riviera, like my doctor one. Yeah, like the like the Doctor Death one that you had in the early episodes. But when a Riviera with a supercharged thirty eight hundred, this would be even cheaper than this. 
Yeah, that's performance. such a big. That's such a big car. I like how small the Rihanna. Yeah, the, the Rihanna is really small and nimble. Yeah, you can four people. Yeah, the Rihanna like a boxer. The, the, the Rihanna is a Riviera with like like what nine inches cut out of wheelbase or something else like that. It is. It's a shortened Riviera. Yeah, which is uh, I think which I think is related to GM10. I think they're GM10 cars. No, I don't think they're tens. I don't are think they not? Are they L's or what were they? I can't remember what they were. Well, it's related to the same to the Eldorado and the uh, in the Seville. In the LeSabre, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, now you're starting to speak things that Tony really wants, like an Eldo, uh, <laughs> some big, giant front drive Eldo. I, I'd do the downsized front drive Eldo from like 85. I thought that was a cool car. I, like, I, done the, oh, I should have done the Tornado Trofeo so I could play that commercial. I like the- uh, I think I, you've done it before. I like, I, I like the late Eldorados with the North Star. I know that you can't, that, I know they're jerk cheap because you can't fix them and everything. Like that, but I always liked the uh, like the ETC, which I thought was the funniest name ever put on a car. Which All was, right. The ETC. Oh, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. No, we're really, it's the time. It's time to vote. It's the most important part of the show. Are we judging? Oh uh, yeah, because there's so much at stake. Okay, go on. <laughs> so, gosh, uh, no, take, no, take it, a few it, weeks it, off, man. I know, I know. How are we basing this vote? Austin, do you not personal preference, show? man? Just, no, Austin, Austin, thanks for thanks for watching all the episodes. Hey, give it a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> oh, okay, Pearly, Pearly, what did you have? I forgot. I, 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 I had the Toyota Rav4 hybrid. Oh, the Venza. After we bullied you out of the Venza. Yeah. Sideways. <laughs> yeah, you didn't pick a listing. Yeah, you didn't pick a listing. So down. Giving you down. Sorry, um, John. All downs. Wow, I don't think that's happened in a while. <laughs> There's a reason why I work for a better man. Yeah, a pearly. What? Okay. Now I... No, no. Let's call it. It's a, let's, it's, it's a Jonathan. It's a Jonathan. Yeah, where's Jonathan today? Where's Jonathan? He's not here. So it's a, so when it's a, when it's a sweep of four downs, it's a Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan is still in Africa. He'll be back next week. We hope. Oh, okay. Well, his internet. He checked into a hotel. He checked into a hotel, but his internet was too slow. Okay. Uh, if I was gonna, you know, there's some interesting cars here, but you know, cars that I hated, I kind of like, and uh, I gotta say, I hate to do it because it's the Riata. Oh no! I, I would rather, I'd rather, I'd rather do the Riata. I'd rather have the Coupe. Uh, but you know, the Riata is one of those cars I was just like, 3800 V6, got garbage. Right. You know, and as time's gone on, I'm only like, every time I see one, I go like, God, that was a good looking car. It, right. Pop up Super. headlights. Yeah, it's so well built and it's it's so unique and it's they're never gonna do anything like that again. And yeah, it's the Riata. I wouldn't want that Riata, but I want a Riata. I like the convertible because it's like the 57 T-Bird of Buicks. Well, you're delusional. But uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it, but it would be a you know the, the coupe actually I, I thought the better one, but a Riata is an interesting car. And it's All a right, car. Okay. I, Really, uh, the Acura. I got the Acura TL with the manual. Yeah, all-wheel drive yeah. manual. Beautiful car. Great choice. That acceleration is shocking. Yeah. Yeah, just, That's just, a sell for me. I was just thinking it as sideways, I think, just so he can talk more. <laughs> I'm not going to let him say anything. Um, I think my favorite is the Miata. What if Miata? I had a similar experience. Wait, 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 wait. What Miata is your favorite out of that nice red one with the crank windows? Not the one with the Maggie Simpson floor not, cover? Not wait, wait, wait. You mean that. the first one he showed that was just a photograph of one and not actually for sale? Well, that no, was to illustrate a, a happy face. There was a nice red one that he showed at the end that was for sale. With the bad wheels, Casey. With the yeah, wheels. I would just replace yeah. the wheels. But I had a similar experience where I like didn't really get the whole Miata thing and then I drove one and then I understood. Then they're super fun, yeah. Also, that long-term Miata that we had was amazing. The white one. Yeah. My friend still owns it. The ND. Oh, your friend bought that? Mm -hmm. All right, Austin. I, 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 just can't, I just can't I can't say that the Miata is... Okay, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll go, we'll go on. Austin, we're voting on the Miata now. Your particular example, sideways. But I love Miata. It's okay. I can't say no to a Miata. They're good. Yeah. This is more a sideways for the whole presentation. Was <laughs> <laughs> I was very prepared. So, certain amount of flip book, Mister. But you know, I, to be honest, I just can't. I can't say that I've never disliked Miata. I've never, I've never driven a Miata. I didn't like go like, what a great car. You know, All right, Austin. What was your favorite car that wasn't oh. yours? I like Joey's, the TL. 
Oh, I was sort of alliance forming here. I don't like. Yeah, well, no, I would seriously. I like. I would. That's the one I would consider buying. I wouldn't get like you know. Uh, well, do we actually have a budget here? Central yeah. casting is going to take care of this lickety split. <laughs> Central casting. Oh, they said Carol Baskin. <laughs> the budget was seventy two. He's going to feed Austin to the Tigers. <laughs> All right, uh, Casey's E36. I find it hard to believe that you didn't like that car when it was new. I like it's too I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like that car until like 2001. I hate. I and quite frankly, I, I really hated all BMWs back then. And also, a good thing to know is that uh, uh, E36, like M3, a bunch of uh, really good Michelin tires were developed on an E36 M3. Oh so. yeah, we did. Oh, that there. development car, yeah. Let's get Mac to mirror on here. I can tell you about it. Oh, um, lightweight. You know the, the only problem I have with that is is that I don't Who? know. If I, wait, 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 wait. Who? Mac to mirror. Mac to mirror. You know Mac he used to be a I, motor trend. He went to work for. He was at Michelin for like. Met him at Lawrence like a years ago, Casey. Yeah. Oh. He worked. He worked at. He worked at Michelin doing tire development for like fifteen years. All right. Um. Oh, what's your favorite car, uh, My favorite car. <laughs> I mean, my favorite car is set up three, but um, who's got votes so far? Okay, everyone. <laughs> everyone. I don't have any votes. I think I'm going to burn it on Pearly. Oh, no. Avenza. Just, just to make Tony vote. Oh, make me pick a winner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, what do you guys think of the Riata convertible? Oh, wow. I don't like that your chief argument is build quality. <laughs> Well, not cheap. Thirty-eight hundred is amazing. Right. Who's the one person who's voting for you? Yes, Pearly. Thank you, sir. This is too political. It, it, it's worrying me that he's the only one voting for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I like? If I vote for the Venza, we all tie. Oh no, yeah. he doesn't win. Um, I give it to Joey. I like your car, Joey. Man, you. I forgot about that car. That's a good pick. I, I never looked past the beak, which made me think it's not a good car, but uh, it probably is. It probably is a good car. Okay, so I win. You win. You didn't celebrate. <laughs> I'm so right. surprised. Also, it's sad that winning is only take two votes. Congratulations, Joe. Oh. You won with a gray Japanese car. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. Yeah. That's pretty fitting, actually. You could, you could just, you should splice that. We should go back and splice that into every one of Joey's wins. <laughs> mostly great. Enough. That would be a great drop. That'd be a great like. We gotta, we gotta come up with a soundboard for this. I have a hundred dollar Hot Wheel here. If anybody wants it, what is it? It's a 1982 Supra. Can we see your dog? Is that card punch? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a punch? Is that a punched card that I see? It is punched. Nah, I'm not well, interested. Like your internet's not working great, really. I, I I only do unpunched Hot Wheels. Oh, he's bringing the dog. <laughs> Here comes the dog. New uh, dog. Uh, uh, Tony's <laughs> changing his vote to Pearly. That's the win. I vote for the dog. This, this is Caroline. She's a chocolate lab, obviously. Uh, she's 13 weeks old. Dum, she, dum, dum. Here and she's. Uh, She's she's my replacement for Bama, and I decided I didn't want to just recreate the dog I had. I just got a dog that's completely different than the one I had. And uh, John, have you ever had any dogs you hated at first but really loved later? <laughs> <laughs> I still have I still have one. I have Duke, who is Bama's brother. Who <laughs> or the other way around. Yeah, but this is this is a uh, this is this is Caroline. Well, Pearly's dog wants you all to like and subscribe and keep sending in the ideas. This is a, this is also a viewer idea, which is a great one. And so thanks for sending and thanks for watching and we'll see you all next week. $100 Hot Wheel. <laughs> he always has to have the last word. Begin by pressing the climate key and then the off and warm soft keys of the climate screen. This displays ECM, BCM, and CRT codes stored in the diagnostic mode. Once the codes are displayed, you then have a chance to enter the ECM, BCM, CRT, or IPC system level. Since we want to take a snapshot, we'll press the yes button for either the ECM or BCM.